Hi, good morning everyone. So today um, we're gonna do something fun that I have been waiting to do for a long time. Um, I get a lot of questions about this, my mask strap. I don't know what you would call it. Um, it basically, it's like when you wear glasses, you know, and you can let it hang here so I don't lose it. And I actually bought this one. So it's just like this, multiple little glass beads, really simple. It's just on like a tiny string and all it has is like one clasp, one ring, and then a lobster claw um, on each side. So double that. But I want to try and make some of them myself and I saw from a Q2 Han video who you should know them by now but they're lovely lovely people um they went to a bead market in Dongdaemun and so I'm gonna head over there quite quickly we're not gonna mingle um we're just gonna go to the market and come back because the virus is mm, picking up again a little bit here in Seoul so it's better to just kind of stay inside so I'm gonna buy my beads and then we're gonna stay inside all weekend, which is fun. And yeah, also it's very cold. It's like the first very cold day of the year. And I also just wanna be in my house. How about that? So um, let's go. I'm obviously gonna bring this with me. This is just gonna be my template. And off we go. My god that was so fun so i'm i'm like half glad that i went alone so that nobody judged me and like half i wish my friends were there to talk me out of buying all the stuff that i bought really nice one thing that i get intimidated by when it comes to markets like this is that you sometimes have to haggle like ask for a lower price um but in this one it was always marked and if it wasn't marked it was like always a thousand won so i appreciated that and yeah, I'm so excited. I bought like really basic stuff and if I like really enjoy making these, I'm gonna go back and get some more fun kinds and try and, I don't know, do some more designing on my own, which is fun. I used to make jewelry when I was in high school. So it was kind of a pain in the butt buying all the tools that I know I have somewhere in my house in California. Um, but whatever, everybody was really nice. You don't super need to speak Korean to do anything and definitely walk around because I thought I walked around a lot and looked at the prices and literally right after I bought my like big packet of beads, 
I saw the same packet for half the price. <laughs> so do like multiple, multiple circles because you're always gonna miss something. But there was just so much stuff. It's amazing, like, yeah, it's just a, a world you don't really know about until you get into it. So very fun. I'm going to head to my bus. We're gonna head home because I just got an emergency notification that we're supposed to really stay inside this weekend. Um, so it's a good thing I brought my bought my crafts. Kurt and I are gonna stay inside and make bead things. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I'll see you at my apartment. <laughs> Okay, greetings everyone. Whew. We are home, I've had lunch. Let me show you what we got. So we've got beads, beads. And then I got various supplies. Voila. I don't know if you can hear it, but my neighbor is like tapping. randomly so um <laughs> we're just gonna deal with that um i went there with thirty thousand won um and i ended up spending about sixteen thousand won um which you know was that a little bit more than i thought i was gonna spend yes but we'll see how many necklaces or what are we gonna call these mask chains mask chains um how many of these we can make with them i don't know and like i said um as an example i did my like preliminary loop around and i thought that all of these bags were gonna be all the same price and so i was seeing a lot of these being like this these little like glass beads but um, I think these might be a different quality and they're also slightly bigger. So I don't know if that makes a difference, but I did find that a heck of a lot of them are only 1,001. So, um, like I said, just be sure that you do like many, many a loop around. Um, and then, so like I said, I bought pretty much just the basic glass beads, but for a couple of them, there there were so many stores that had just the most incredible beads um and there were a lot of ones that had like jade or jade-esque which is totally my weakness i was like staring at the at those stalls for a really long time but i walked away but i did get some cute little some cute little glass beads i also only got enough clasps to make four of these chains right now. So if I find that I really enjoy doing them, we'll make more. Am I out of focus? Good. Okay, let me unpack. So oopsie, um, I thought that I bought a threading needle, but there isn't, oh wait, what? the hell is this i don't understand what are you okay guys can you help me out here it's like a needle but it uh like separates can you see that but like this i'm not sure what this is for i was hoping to have a threading needle can i just use a normal needle let me go get one one second i don't know if these needles will fit oh 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 no so close. The bead is too big for the eye. No. You can totally make these without a threading needle. It just takes a lot longer. Let me like triple check that I'm not stupid and I'm, one second. The hair is up, we're getting serious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try with this needle actually. I don't, this could be a big old failure. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, again, I'm using this one that I purchased from someone who actually successfully made one before um, as a little guide. So I'm just gonna take my thread that I bought and line it up and we cut. My itty bitty baby scissors. Why didn't I bring normal scissors over here? Okay. <laughs> Ends up being about, for me, if I pinch the very, <laughs> the very end between my thumb and my index finger, it is about arm's length. 
comes to here. So now we're gonna attempt this weird needle. I don't really understand what this needle is, but let's give her a go. I'm so sorry for actual crafty people who like know what this needle is and are looking at me like, she's ruining everything. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. So just to like, for my brain to understand how this works, without having tied any knots, I'm gonna put this bead on and see like, where does it go? What does it do? What's the point? I don't understand. Ouch! Why did I think that was okay to do? <laughs> I just like pressed it directly into my thumb. What did I think was gonna happen? Why does this feel like rocket science? Okay. Okay, I think I can do this. This could go horribly wrong, but I'm gonna just seal up this side already. Yeah, okay, whatever. This is, this is such a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So here we go. I will show you what is going on. So welcome to my absolutely horrible, very bad idea. This seems to hold on to it really well by the way this is like you should not do this but the needle is like holding on to this string very very well so i'm just going to use it the way that they clasp this is first they combined the lobster claw and the clasp so i'm going to get out my lobster claw just one please and my clasps open just enough to put my lobster claw on. I realize like you guys can't see anything. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I just get so focused. This is why I don't do DIYs because I get so focused in the actual doing that I can't speak or explain it to anybody. But I'm basically just flattening, closing this ring back up. We have our lobster claw attached to our ring. So now we're gonna put the string through this ring and we're gonna tie a knot and clamp it. I'm so sorry about my nail polish as well. Jeez, I'm a mess. Get my little clasp. I'm going to put this through and loop it just like this so that it's hanging and make sure the clasp goes through both ends of the loop. Can you see that? So that it's like this. Using this little guy, just give it a nice little squish. Nice and Toy, toy. So you can see this one, how it is the claw, the ring, little clasp. See how that all works together, right? We're currently at this point where we have the claw, the ring, and the clasp. My camera doesn't want to show it to you, but it's there. <laughs> now we start beating. I think I'm gonna do a string mostly of this kind of fluorescent green. This one is a more muted, this one is shinier. So I'm gonna do this with some white, pink, and orange flowers. Okay, so well, I apologize if you can't see this. Can you? Okay, you can. So this is why the needle um, is so much faster. It begins. <laughs> We're gonna switch colors. And I'm following the instructions of fusionbeads.com. For white, I'm gonna do a orange middle. And then I'm gonna need two more white. And I'm just gonna get green in there as well. Allegedly what we have to do is get four of our petal colors, also our middle color. So can you see that? We've got our four white petals and our orange middle. And so we bring it on down. So currently it's looking like this. Let me do the first one without speaking because clearly I cannot. What I've done so far, my God. Here is the beginning. Daisy chain. So I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong as far as why it's a little bit zigzaggy. So far I like it, it's coming along well. I will continue. What troubles you, my child? God. <coughs> Sorry. Truthfully, I'm not even Catholic. 
you don't say. But losing my virginity to Chuck Bass? But none of my friends will ever understand. <laughs> I'm actually going to try a different stitch. I think I'm going to like get rid of this and try again. Hold on. I just don't know how to get it to not be like jumping. I think the issue was that I was using six petals instead of seven petals. I might just start over. How annoying is that? Is that annoying? It is. Okay. It's even. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so this was my first one. I didn't do anything fancy with it. This is purely just beads, no twisty, turny stuff. This was with my glass beads that I bought from the Jade Company. And then the rest is just green. I like it. Let me take a picture. Oh man, I am blue because it is nighttime now, but I have now completed my second one and it's definitely just gonna be for me to keep because the daisies still just don't look right. I don't know, I'm gonna try a different daisy technique, but like I said, from far away it looks, it looks okay. I won't let people get too close to me, which it's social distancing anyway, right? So, yeah, this one is orange, white flowers with little green insides. And I actually really like this one. I think I might go back and get more of these just glass beads and do more of just this style, really simple. Quite happy with my two, my two ones. And now I'm working on another one that is blue and question mark. And I'm still watching Gossip Girl and I don't know why. Wow, time flies and my computer is dying. Oh my God. Um, I've been working on this for like three hours. <laughs> How is that possible? So I'm gonna go get my charger and um, try and get more light in here. I'm gonna, my eyesight is going, guys. Um, and yeah, I'll check back. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm actually running out to the grocery store, so one mask is making its debut. How exciting. So yeah, it just hangs about this much. Yay, bye! <laughs>